This was different, yet it must be the voice of the Indus, it could be nothing else. They were replying to their recorded song with alarm calls. But where were they? Forty yards away, farther than I'd guessed, judging from the loudness of their calls, and thirty feet up in the tree. How close would they let me approach? They were big creatures, even larger than I'd imagined, at least three feet tall, and the tinny voice of the recorder seemed to hold them fascinated. The proportions of their body, with their very long legs, were strangely human. And I remembered once again Marco Polo's dog-headed men. But then, either the strange quality of their recorded singing, or else my presence, became too much for them. And they were off, jumping magnificently, with their bodies upright, in a manner quite unlike that of monkeys. <laughs> 